I will try to explain uh, a bit of uh, what is uh, LHC, uh, the Large Hadron Collider. As uh, written there, uh, the idea is to give an, an overview for non-experts. Uh, I know that uh, most of you are uh, far from this uh, field. Probably many of you have heard of, about this uh, on newspapers because there was a lot of uh, hassle this uh, last uh, year or, or so. I will try to uh, answer, pose questions and answer to them uh, Probably you had uh, this kind of uh, questions in your, in your head. What is it? What is uh, for? Why? And so on. Uh, I will give a very brief glimpse to recent results. I will uh, uh, go through uh, many slides uh, very quickly uh, just to uh, uh, trigger your curiosity. If you want more, I will show, but I don't expect you to understand everything, so it's better not to, to push too many things in your head uh, right now. And. Uh, uh, also, uh, just uh, one slide about uh, future prospects. I will leave more uh, about, uh, for, about that in the next, uh, to the next talk, to Francois' uh, talk. So, what is uh, LHC? Uh, it was already mentioned. Uh, the, the name is the Large Hadron Collider. It's a particle accelerator situated uh, at CERN, at CERN uh, in, in Geneva, uh, close to the French uh, border. It is, uh, CERN is the European Center for Particle Physics. It's, uh, uh, it, it was a European center, now it's a worldwide uh, uh, research center uh, with most of the uh, international community of, of the field uh, working on. Uh, it's, uh, it's an accelerator, uh, it's a machine uh, done for, to, to uh, accelerate subatomic particles. In this case, it is uh, our protons or uh, nucleus uh, and make them uh, collide at, uh, at some given point where uh, some experiments are set that uh, uh, try to try or attempt to uh, record what was uh, going on there. So there are m four major experiments in there called ALICE, uh, ATLAS, LCB, and CMS. I will mostly speak about CMS because it's the, the one I'm working on, but most of the things I, can, I, I'm, I will mention are uh, very similar for all, all the experiments. So the, the, the experiment, the tunnel, uh, the, the accelerator is a tunnel, an uh, underground tunnel, uh, some 100 uh, meters down uh, uh, underground. So the, the idea is that uh, with this uh, energy uh, that uh, the protons achieve, we make them collide, and then new particles uh, are created uh, with the uh, famous, I mean, it's probably the most famous formula in physics. Uh, it already uh, has appeared, I think, uh, in both talks. Uh, and what we are doing is uh, um, com um, uh, converting energy in, uh, in matter. And so we can see uh, and observe things that uh, right now in, in nature, at least in our neighborhood, are not uh, uh, existing. Uh, I will try to give some uh, figures, some uh, headlines of the LHC, some numbers that uh, you probably have seen, some of them. I already say uh, tw uh, 20, uh, 27 kilometers uh, tunnel uh, underground. It's uh, said to be the fastest track on Earth. Uh, the, the protons in there are accelerated to very, very close to the energy, uh, the, the speed of light is uh, 0.9989. So it's really uh, the fastest particles on, on Earth. Uh, to make you, uh, to, to have an idea, uh, this 27 kilometers, uh, every proton makes uh, 11,000 turns per second. So it's uh, really fast. <laughs> Also, some numbers the, to, to be able to achieve uh, the, this acceleration of, with a, a significant number of protons, the, the vacuum in the, in the pipe, what we call the beam pipe, where the, the, the pipe has to be really perfect. It's, uh, uh, it's said also uh, in this uh, headline uh, style, is the, the highest vacuum in the solar system is comparable to that in the interstellar space. So it's what, uh, and there in 27 kilometers. Um, some more things, uh, all this tunnel, this is a picture of the tunnel, uh, it's a field of uh, uh, high-tech uh, uh, equipment, in particular uh, 100, uh, 1,600 uh, superconducting magnets. Uh, this is also said to be the coldest place in the universe, one of the coldest, the coldest places in, in the universe, because this magnet has to be refrigerated to some uh, 271 uh, degrees below zero, all these 27 kilometers. 
This, this requires 120 tons of liquid helium. Uh, and at the same time, when we make uh, these protons collide in a place, we, we have uh, this kind of, uh, uh, the, every of these uh, lines, uh, you, you see some, some mesh here, but every, every uh, line here represents a particle. So what happened there before uh, these particles were produced is something uh, billions of times uh, 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 hotter than the sun. Uh, and, and it's uh, similar to what was uh, the universe uh, a, a few seconds after the Big Bang. So these are the things that we try to, uh, uh, to study. Why we study this, uh, it was already uh, appeared in the, in the previous uh, two presentations, so I will not uh, go back to, to that, just to, to understand some basic uh, questions of uh, our understanding of the, of the universe. So to, to understand what uh, happened in these uh, collisions, we need uh, the, what we call the particle detector, the experiments. These are uh, huge uh, uh, machines, huge detectors. I don't know if you uh, are able to see, but these are two persons in there during the mountain so to, to, to have an idea of, of the scale. You hardly see, the, you see the helmet there and the, the, the pants. So, uh, and all this is, uh, uh, equipped with uh, uh, front-edge technology. I mean, to, to be able to, uh, to detect what uh, happened there, they, this is during the mountain, so there is no accelerator, but the, at the end, the, you have a collision is there, particles are produced all over, and then you want to track those particles uh, with very high precision, in, uh, impressive uh, high uh, speed. So there are uh, four experiments, I already said, and they are uh, supposed to be the most complex machines ever built. It, they require the 20 years of development by teams of thousands of physicists. So some more numbers. Uh, it was a technolo technological challenge. Uh, the, the size is uh, 15 uh, meters uh, diameter, uh, 20 uh, meters long, uh, with a field, magnetic field in around here, for Tesla, that's uh, 100 times, 100,000 times the Magnetic, uh, the Earth uh, magnetic field. The weight is about uh, 12,000 uh, tons, twice the uh, Tour Eiffel, and it's not uh, just iron, it's uh, high-tech uh, devices in there. I have some, some pictures here of some uh, crystals uh, developed for, for detecting particles or some silicon uh, uh, detectors. It's said to be like a gigantic uh, 3D camera that takes pictures uh, every uh, 40 million pictures a, a second and uh, recording the, the passage of uh, tiny particles uh, with a precision of uh, a, a small fraction of a millimeter. So in most of these things, uh, like I said, were, are the product, the result of 20 uh, years of uh, research of uh, different teams in, in, in the field. It's not something that you can buy on the to, to, a, to a company is something that you have to uh, develop yourself. Here I have a set of pictures uh, b uh, to show also some uh, uh, complexity of the, of the uh, building of these things. Uh, this is on the mechanical side. Uh, this is the example of CMS that was built on surface and then it was uh, descended uh, to the uh, working point uh, 100 uh, meters down. And this is, uh, I remind you, uh, 20, uh, sorry, 12,000 uh, tons. So this uh, was mounted uh, uh, on the surface. You see that the, the ground, the, the floor was removed, it was starting to be removed. Of course, this was hung here. It's, you don't see very well, but it's not floating. Uh, and then this is uh, the, the hangar uh, downstairs. And then you see uh, how it is. All this, uh, uh, was done uh, very, very slowly to be, uh, to uh, don't move the, uh, uh, the detectors in here because they have a, a very precise place to be and you cannot just uh, leave uh, uh, a move because the, the, the precision uh, it's, uh, gets spoiled. You probably know, but you might get the, the question, how, how can these uh, monsters can be built? Uh, I mean, the only way is with uh, also huge or large uh, uh, collabor international collaborations. In particular, this experiment, but the others, I, uh, like, like I said, are very, very similar. These experiments uh, are uh, composed uh, uh, of about 3,000 scientists right now, and engineers, 
and uh, includes uh, 800 students. It means about 800 people doing their PhD in one experiment. So it's, uh, and this is 173 institutes from 40 countries all over the world. So it's really an international uh, uh, work. Uh, this kind of experiments cannot be any more uh, be uh, addressed by a single uh, country, not even the US. Uh, not so many years ago, uh, the US had their own experiments, but uh, not anymore. So more challenges. I've spoke of, uh, about different challenges, but uh, I like to, to pose this, um, this problem like uh, what uh, I like to say, uh, the, the, a modern version of the a needle in the high stack. Uh, we are looking for uh, some signal, uh, some of these collisions uh, that we are looking for are very rare, and they, be, they can be produced probably uh, one and 12 zeros uh, of, of collisions. So you, you need to have a million of a million collisions to get one of the uh, interesting ones. So this, uh, this graphic here, uh, I don't expect you to understand exactly, but this uh, number here uh, represents uh, more or less the, the, the rate, is something proportional to the rate of a given process. Uh, this uh, band here is the, what corresponds to, to the latency. This line here is the n total number of, uh, of collisions, so it's about uh, 10 to the 7, 10 to the 8. And for example, the Higgs depends on many things, but to get an idea, it's 10 to the minus uh, 3 or 10 to the minus 4, depending on what we're looking for. So you are uh, more or less a million of millions below. So you have to uh, record many collisions to get the one you want, and you have to uh, recognize. I mean, this is uh, 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 just a graphic example. One of these is the uh, a possible candidate of a uh, Higgs boson, and the other is uh, what I call uninteresting physics. I mean, it's also interesting, but it's not related to the Higgs. I'm cheating. I mean, you, uh, when you do uh, uh, physics, uh, you get uh, much more information than the picture. You get numbers, angles, and so on, but uh, you don't get only one over four. You get one over uh, a million of a million. But uh, it's to, to illustrate, I mean, this looks very similar often you look for something strange in this case. I mean, this is the Higgs. This is the Higgs boson candidate. Uh, and you look for this kind of uh, special uh, uh, object. Still one more uh, challenge, and this, uh, usually you don't see this uh, on, the, on this kind of talks, but since I'm on the field, I also always uh, spend uh, one slide on, on that. Uh, there is a problem uh, with computing. So uh, these experiments are producing about one gigabyte per second data. So it means about 100 million gigabytes per year. And it's something that you have to process, uh, analyze, store, and so on. This uh, has produced uh, a need, and the, the solution that we are applying right now is what is called uh, grid computing, um, where uh, all data and resources are spread all over the world. I mean, there is a hierarchy of, of sites or uh, computer centers. And these uh, lines uh, represent how the data or the, uh, the, uh, the work it's, uh, flows all over the world. I mean, the center, you see much, many more lines in there where the accelerator uh, sits, but the data is sent, uh, for example, to US or to Spain or to whatever part of the data, and there is uh, available for, for analysis for all uh, physicists. What for? I mean, I've uh, spoken about the, the, the physics uh, uh, interest. Uh, I want uh, also to spend one uh, minute on saying the possible application. No? I, I start a bit provo provocatively in this aud uh, audience. The first uh, thing is that uh, just uh, to increase our knowledge. I think that should be enough. But if you are talking to politicians and so on, you have to say something more. Uh, what else? You have to remind them that basic science discoveries in the past uh, 100 or 200 years, it's missing one year there. 100, 200 years ago have led to the technological revolution uh, this last century that have changed our lives, for, for sure. And there is something, uh, if uh, politicians say, okay, I don't care too much what will happen in 100 years from now, what uh, will happen in a couple of years, you can remind that uh, any uh, science uh, implies uh, uh, technological developments that flow uh, much faster to the uh, everyday life. For example, uh, just three examples, uh, the accelerators now uh, are basic uh, in a hospital for cancer treatment. You have a picture here. 
medical imaging uh, has uh, impressively evolved in the last years, for example, PET and many, many of these uh, uh, machines uh, found in the hospitals. And I also uh, always take the opportunity to remind that the uh, w, WW was uh, uh, derived at CERN for a particle physics experiment. I mean, this is the results. These are the outcomes of maybe the experiments of 20, 50 years ago. So it's a bit faster, not, uh, not so much, uh, not for tomorrow, but uh, it's, uh, it's there. So going now to, to some results. Uh, LHC has been running uh, the last two years uh, with uh, excellent performance. Uh, we have collected a large uh, amount of, uh, of, uh, of data at an energy that was never reached before. That allowed uh, to produce uh, hundreds of uh, new results uh, that are published or in the, in the way of being published. You can ask uh, uh, anything really new. Okay, uh, unluckily, most of what we have seen is confirmation of this standard model that uh, has been mentioned before. I mean, I'm, I, I say unluckily, for, for one side is uh, excellent that the model we have, it works, but for, for other side, it's a bit boring because you have a model made uh, basically uh, 50 years ago, 40 years ago, that uh, reproduce uh, every single experiment. So it's in some, in some sense, it's a bit disappointing for researchers. Uh, we have uh, checked and studied many other um, extensions and models and so far nothing is seen. So you set bones, this model is not true or is not true for this set of parameters. And what we, I will spend a, a bit uh, about it is the, it was already mentioned, there is an interesting hint of the Higgs boson. I mean, this is uh, the, our holy grail it's mentioned often, and now we have some hint. I will uh, mention a bit uh, what's, what means hint. Uh, okay, I think I will go quickly through this. Uh, precision measurement, the, the first thing you do is to uh, look for processes predicted by the standard model and measure their, them uh, with uh, uh, very uh, high care and see what happens. This is an example. This is, uh, this represents, uh, as, as before, the rate of different uh, uh, physics process predicted by the standard model, known to, to, to happen by the standard model. The blue line represents what the standard model predicts. The, uh, the dot represents what uh, was measured. And if you see, uh, I mean, you see also the errors. The agreement is uh, excellent within a several, almost six uh, order of magnitude. So it's, uh, I repeat, the, the model has an impressive uh, predictive power within something really new nobody has ever run at these energies. The model is able to uh, predict with very high accuracy what, uh, what uh, happened. It's uh, impressive and it's boring. <laughs> so this is another example. I will skip uh, just, um, okay, I, I mentioned a word. There is another uh, case, a, a, a particle, I don't not uh, um, come into the details, that uh, has, uh, is unstable it decays to many things, and amongst the, those things, there is a, a case where it goes to two muons, one every uh, thousand million times. And uh, this is very sensible to uh, possible uh, modification of the standard model. And now we are reaching this uh, number, is one over 1,000 uh, million precision to say if it is true or it is not. We are uh, searching for many, what I call exotic or less exotic models, uh, some things like uh, microscopic black holes, that uh, there are some uh, models that predict this, uh, this kind of, uh, of uh, objects, the, the existence of extra dimension, that uh, the particles we are under, uh, believe are fundamental, they are not fundamental, but uh, have some structure, or the supersymmetry that uh, is been spoken of before. So far, nothing has been seen on, the, on, those, uh, on any of those models. And then again, uh, we are setting uh, limits uh, and bounding uh, these models. So the Higgs. Uh, Sven gave a very nice introduction to the Higgs. So uh, I just mentioned uh, the experimental part. The Higgs boson was one of the main goals of the LHC, not the only one, but uh, one of the main goals, but uh, even if uh, many things were designed to search for the Higgs, it's a very complex and delicate analysis. I say before, uh, one Higgs is produced uh, about, uh, in about uh, a million of a million collisions, and uh, with very similar, I say before, 
and there are many different channels and production decays. Uh, and so I, I will show a slide. Uh, to, to. So we are uh, searching for a, a, a tiny signal over huge backgrounds, often with sim uh, similar signatures. So what, what have we seen? Uh, the recorded data so far has, uh, is showing small excesses in some distributions to compare to what uh, one would expect if there no Higgs exist. Each of these uh, could very well be a fluctuation. It's, uh, you have uh, very small data, you have uh, backgrounds, you can, you can mm, have this uh, kind of statistical problems. What is uh, intriguing and uh, interesting is that the same excess appears in different distributions and in different experiments, independent experiments. I say that there were four, two of those experiments are looking for the Higgs, another two in, uh, in the States, and uh, see something similar in the same place. When one combines, uh, and I have to say with the complex statistical machinery, the, it's not uh, straightforward, the excess is clearly visible in each of the experiments. So we are very careful, we cannot claim for discovery, uh, it's uh, probably just words, but uh, not even an evidence, uh, and we call it a hint. A uh, hint, uh, it, uh, this, uh, the selection of the word is not uh, um, irrelevant in, in, in physics because uh, it depends on the st significance uh, of your discovery or your, or your uh, observation. So, so far we can only claim a hint, so nothing, basically. <laughs> so this is an example, these are several distributions, not, uh, have no time to, to speak, these three are the most relevant ones. The white line, the, sorry, the, the full line is uh, the standard model expectations. The dots are the data. The red is what you would expect with the Higgs. And what we are speaking about is this bump here, this axis here, and that axis here. If you see there, in this plot, you will say there is nothing. But uh, when you uh, combine statistically, you get this kind of plots. This is sort of the probability to, to have this distribution if there is no Higgs, and you have this huge uh, dip that gives uh, that, uh, the probability of not having a uh, Higgs is uh, 10 to the minus 3. If you see, I don't know if I left it, yeah. If you see the same plot for, for uh, the other experiments, it's not the same shape, but again has the similar dip in the same place. So this is an example of how it looks like. Uh, these are quite clear a uh, signature of four muons in this case. So what can we expect from now? From the, from the uh, now I mean this year for, for, from LHC. Uh, the LHC has increased its energy to 8 uh, TV, so it's from seven to eight, so it's, it's only a small step. Uh, and luminosity is the intensity, you, you get more data. Uh, by the end of the year, we expect to have the uh, recorded collisions by a factor of five, that means that if these things are fluctuation, should wash up, and if they are not, we should see this very, very clear. Um, in the coming weeks, uh, we will uh, present uh, uh, new results with only doubling the statistics. That's to my, I mean, we, we were discussing a while ago, to my understanding is not enough to claim anything yet, nor in, in any sense, but uh, uh, by the end of the year, uh, we are almost certain that either we confirm the discovery, say, okay, that hint is a discovery, because uh, we, we will have more data, we will understand much better our data, or we will say, okay, if that was not the Higgs, and I, was, I am 100% sure that if the Higgs exists, I should have, uh, have seen it. So it's also quite strong. Probably the, from the theoretical point of view, it's a much stronger uh, uh, result that to say that it doesn't exist from the experimental I mean all of us will be glad to see it so uh, what about other new physics uh, this increase in energy and in statistics will widen a lot the possibilities of the of the searches and we are always uh, hoping to, to see uh, discoveries but uh, there is no clear prediction so we still uh, it's totally open and beyond that, what happens in the next year, the, the LHC will uh, uh, still run for uh, some many years and then uh, even increase the energy. 
So we expect to answer many of those uh, questions that I, I posed before. Uh, is the, are there extra dimensions? Is supersymmetry true? So on. Probably the, the LHC in 10 years from now will be able to uh, make, uh, uh, to answer to many of those. But still, uh, we need some, uh, a new generation of accelerators that uh, Francois will speak about uh, later. Thanks.